Welcome back, heroes, to some more Pixelmon! So, last time I left off, I was investigating the uh, lost tome, or at least the stolen tome, of the school. And this seems to be a lot of foot. But, in between last time and now, I gathered the stuff for old Pedro in there. And I happen to have gotten uh, a little uh, uh, secret as well, and uh, captured in the meantime. Well, I captured her, but... Uh, got a good one. Let's, let's just put it that way. Yeah! Uh, yeah! There we go! So this is gonna be my, my secret weapon! For, for, for the, for the gym. Secret weapon. <laughs> Mrs. Popo. <laughs> well, I, I still need to train her up, of course, but, uh, for now, I think she'll, she'll do. She'll do. Alright, hey Pedro, got your stuff. Excellent! Now I have the best midterm project in all the academy. Alright, uh, that's what I heard. Um, well, here's what I heard that, that night. Uh, at about 2 a.m., I walked downstairs and got a snack. I entered the first floor and I saw Hoffer, the school chef, running down the hall like a madman. That's about all I saw. Okay, uh, thank you, Petro, and thanks for the money, too, sure. Uh, I think I still need to report back what I found here. Yeah, which is just some. What was it? It was a uh, hand-sewn Charmander socks, right? And I do apologize about the frames. I'm not exactly sure why it seems to be a little sputtery. I don't know. It seems it seems weird to me. It's, something's going on. Um, I'm assuming it's just the region. Uh, hey, Samantha, get yourself. I bet she had the stolen book in her locker, right? No, she had some socks. Oh, oh my. She making me socks for my birthday? She knows Charmander's my favorite Pokemon. Oh man, yay! I'm happy. Uh, uh, here, kid, take this. Sorry to lead you on like that. <laughs> Everyone's just giving me money. You know what? I'm not gonna complain. Sure. Okay, so, so far, the only lead uh, that we have yet to actually investigate is to see if um, the cafeteria guy has, uh, has anything that he could do. Alright, well, let's just ask around these people who are on the computers to see if any of them will help uh, Techie out, because we got to make sure to do that. Get away! I'm a programmer for the NASA here! Uh, sure. Hey, Pascal. Ooh, Pokebook! Look at all these Poke friend requests! Uh, how about you, Chris? Looks like all the functions are working properly, but the user import interface is still robust enough. Oh, hello there! I'm just doing some video game programming. It's truly enjoyable. There's simply nothing bringing, uh, like bringing someone's imagination to life on the screen. Know anything about TMs? TMs, eh? Uh, well, I've never worked that kind of environment before. Uh, I've been looking uh, uh, for something more challenging to work on. Sure, I'm in. Jackpot. Haha, -ha, excellent. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got a video game to continue working on. Oh, baby, this game's gonna be great. Types away. <laughs> right, so we got that issue solved. So, all that's left is to go investigate who was essentially the first person I talked to. <laughs> Uh, it's a little, a little funny. Uh, okay, so I believe he's down this way. We're gonna, we're gonna expose him for the thief he is. Uh, hello, Mr. Halford. Hey there! Would you like some meatballs or some Caesar salad? Quit the act, thief. What? I'm no thief. I'm a hard-working chef who has a slight obsession with pasta. Th that's it, I swear. You were running around last night, thief. Dry it. Sounds like somebody saw me. Well, I can promise you that I'm not the book thief everyone's looking for. In fact, everyone, I'm the very opposite. I actually caught a glimpse of the people responsible. Explain yourself, Smelly. All right, well, that night I was here in the kitchen perfecting my meatball recipe, and then I remembered we had a book on exotic recipes and, or spices in the library. When in the library, I caught a glimpse of someone unfamiliar walking down a row of books. I know everyone in town, so an unfamiliar face is something that I had to investigate further. Did you confront him? 
I was about to approach him, and then he went to the very back of the giant row of books. I, it was very dark, and I took a few seconds to allow my eyes to adjust, uh, then pro uh, proceeded forward. That's when I noticed I had already gotten to the back of the row. And there was nothing but a wall. He was gone. He disappeared like a ghost. What? That's impossible. I'm not joking. The library. It's haunted. The whole school knows it. Now you finally have proof. On it, I say! Stay away! Stay away! You got meatballs for brains. Oh yeah? Well, go speak to the head librarian. She's been working there for decades. She came back by a crazy story. Uh, I'm not crazy. I'm not gonna do meatballs. Me 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 meatballs? <laughs> oh, really? Okay, well, head librarian. What do you got to say about this? Hello. Welcome to the Academy Library. I make sure you checked out your books back on time or I'll snap your spine. <laughs> uh, so, so you got ghosts, right? <sighs> I'm saddened to say, yes, this library is home to some sort of spirit. Some say the spirit is the soul of a long-lost Pokemon searching for answers to its demise within the pages of these books. Others say it's nothing more than a jester playing tricks on the minds of the innocent. But Halfer said it was a man. It's possible the ghost may have taken the form of a man to confuse its victim. They tend to do those things, after all, you know of any man who can disappear into thin air? I suppose. How can I summon it? What do you think the ghost stole those... Uh, wait, hang on. What do you think the ghost stole those books? I'm not entirely crazy. I suppose it's very unlikely. Anyways, the ghost tends to reveal itself in the very area where Halford keeps blabbering upon about the disappearing man. Toward the back of the southern corner near some of the hanging paintings. Bring on the spooks. Good luck. For this quest, you'll need to hang around the spot indicated to see if anything spooky happens. See if your go uh, any uh, ghosts start chatting with you. Oh, uh, you know what? I'm going to just make sure I have a couple Pokeballs. You notice how I have zero Pokeballs at all? <laughs> Uh, it's because it, I took so much trying to get a good Mrs. Popo. Alright, here we go. Good 20 Pokeball. Or 13, okay. 13 Pokeballs! That's not ominous. Uh, okay. Southern... What? Looking for you. Where I would make myself welcome. Yeah. Where I make myself welcome is where you need to catch the thief. The floor. It's not as solid as you think. A simple tap on the ground will reveal more. Boo, boo, I'm a ghost. I've come to haunt you. Your little one. Have you have been looking for the book thief? I have been accused, and this does not please my ghostly senses. To haunt is my domain, not to steal or pillage. Lucky for you, where I make myself welcome. Oh, right, yeah, right. <laughs> uh, okay, simple tap. Tap, tap, tap. Oh! 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 Okay. Apparently it goes through the floor. Oh my! Well, look at what we have here. How reliable are these? Oh, because uh, guess they're talking. Excellent. The wicked beast will be ours soon enough. Quest legendary tome. Don't worry, boss. Our guys upstairs say nobody knows about us down here. All right. So tell me if you know anything about this book you've taken. Yes, the tome contains the only known accounts of uh, people having slightly successful battles against legendary Pokemon. How reliable are these? A great deal of the writings are first-hand accounts of the trainers themselves. It goes into great detail about a number of different Pokemon, including, you know... Excellent. The Winged Beast will be ours soon enough. Don't worry, boss. Our guys upstairs say nobody knows about us. Oh, right, yeah. 
Tomes. I, th I, th I think that's that's all I got. Okay. Uh, so it would seem I have stumbled upon the thing. Yes, I have good news. Right. Uh, so let's see. Do I talk to the librarian again? So, did you speak to old Spooky over there? <laughs> Ex you explain what happened. Oh my, that's incredible. Well, I did tell you the ghost was not to blame. I know a good specter when I see one. But now there's news about Team Rocket. The headmaster needs to know about this. Thank you for her, your help, young one. Take this. Ooh, Shadow Claw. And 15 coins. Sweet. Alright, so we need to go and report back to the headmaster. Uh, with what our, what we found. Oh, this is, this is, uh, the plot is now thickening. What, what new things will await us? Uh, what's, what is Team Rocket up to? A legendary bird? Or a legendary Pokemon? Is that, is that... Was it legendary bird? I, I assume it'd be a bird. I mean, what other legendary Pokemons are in here? I guess they might be after Arceus? It, maybe? It's just a legendary Pokemon. Hmm. Well, as far as I can tell, the only legendary Pokemon in this game are Mew, Mewtwo, Arceus, uh, the opposite of Arceus, and the three birds. There might be others. Let me know in the comments if you, uh, uh, if there's others that I missed. Uh, but, hmm. Or after, uh, I, I, I'm going on the assumption of birds, just because if you watch Iron and Coal, they, uh, they, they caught a particular legendary bird. So, it would only make sense. Uh, Headmaster! We found more things! You tell the headmaster what you discovered. Are you... are you serious? This... this isn't good, young one. This is the worst case scenario. Come speak to me again. I need a moment to contemplate this. Oh, um... thanks for the Ultra Ball. <laughs> From your description of the meeting you witnessed, it seems that Team Rocket is using those tomes to increase their knowledge of legendary Pokemon. But why? Usually only trainers really concern themselves with such myths and folklore. They got a Pokemon from the BBD mob. Is that true? So Team Rocket has acquired Pokemon that are strong against the ice type. And now, they're in possession of one of the few tomes in the world that has any account of actual trainers fighting legendary Pokemon. This could be bad, kid. Team Rocket is gearing up for something big. Be careful. I'm not sure what the future holds for us. Uh, okay. Thank you, Headmaster. Alright, so we, uh, we found out that, of course, Team Rocket's up to no good. But, uh, you know, we'll stop them as soon, as soon as we find out what, what they're on about. So, I've noticed there's a there's a thing up there. And I, I think I might know how to get up there. Because I've seen these things. Uh, let's see. Oh. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to try to get this item real quick. Uh... I won't spend too much time on it because you know it's parkouring, but uh, let's see let's see how well I can do. All right, yeah. All right, up, up. All right, jump. <laughs> oh, this is this is this this is this. Oh, with the, oh, man, it's like Lilac has some sort of lag issue going on. Ah, there we go. And ah uh, no, I fell down. Okay. Ah, frick. All right. Well, <laughs> hopefully I can do this. All right. Let's just. I'm gonna do a few more tries. Ow. No. A few more tries, and then uh, hopefully I can do this. I, I I'm okay at parkour. Honest. It's just I blame lag. <laughs>
Ah! Yes! Okay! Uh, please don't fall. Ah! Phew! Oh, man! Well, that was an ordeal. Okay. Ugh. Uh, it's even worse because it's raining and it just drops my lag every time I try to sprint. It sometimes works. Okay, come to Papa. A rare candy. It's a rare candy. <laughs> oh well, I guess it's worth some kind of money or. Oh, uh, okay, well, there you go. Uh, hopefully, it's not uh, just a rare candy for everyone, unless you like a rare candy. If you do, there you go. It's, uh, it's right up there. Just, just, for, the, just for the taking. <laughs> oh, that was, that was, um, it's, it's not even hard parkour. It's just, like, because of the rain, I just could not sprint jump for the life of me. Well, anyways, so with that completed, I need to go back to the, um, Pokemart to go to, uh, was it Techie Ted? And turn in the, um, the, like, like, let him know that, that there's a, there's a programmer who's willing to help him out and all that. Which would be good. Very good. Very, very good. Right, okay, so we're in here, and I believe that's... Gabe. Yeah, it's not Gabe that we want. We want ta Pedro? No. Not Pedro. <laughs> Why is there so many Pedros? Alright, here we go. Techie DMs. Excellent! Well, I'm on my way to making some high-level TMs for my customers. Great finding me a programmer. Here's something for your troubles. Uh, don't worry from our winner collection or uh don't worry, our winner collection ordered too many. <laughs> Anyway, speak to me again, and I'll tell you about the black clothed man. Ooh, ice beam. Might come in handy. Man, things are looking great. I got myself a new programmer. Business is doing well. Everything is going swell. Uh, hello, evil suspicious, suspicious man? Oh, thunderstruck as I said that. Oh, right, 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 right. Well, these guys were looking to purchase some very specific TMs. I was recall correctly, the TMs were... Psych, just kidding. You really think I'm forking over that information so easily? But, but, you, why? It's clear to me you're willing to do anything to get this information. I've been looking for someone who can help me out around here and help me get the edge on the other business. Luckily, you're new in town, fresh face, nobody will suspect. Yes, you would be perfect. Um, this is getting weird. Uh, don't worry, I'm not as cruel as they uh, are making you out to be. <laughs> Look, the Mega Center is full of business, right? Businesses are competitive. If we don't compete hard, we crash and burn. I need you to do some, uh, some spying on Mad Max medicines for me. And I need to know his secrets. Well, aren't you just a peachy... No, inconsiderate jerk who goes back on his deals. Jerk. <laughs> Mad Max Medicines. Okay, so let's just go ahead and talk to him. Boom! Uh, oh, hey there, I'm Mad Max. Some call me Mad... Uh, uh, I, I'm Max. Somebody, some people call me Mad Max. Trust me, I'm not as crazy as you think. Whoa, pow! Boom! Uh, what can I do for you? Do you need an explosive medicine to get your Pokemon out of a tough spot? Uh, I'm an aspiring business owner. Oh, really? Well, kid, you've come over uh, to the right guy. You see this shop? I set this up when I was older than you, and it's grown tremendously. Yes, yes. And thanks to my hard work and a few nudge uh, trade secrets, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, I could use some tips. Hmm, I don't know. I'm not akin to just giving out advice. You could be a future competitor after all. I'm new in town. You can trust me. You know what? Sure! Uh, not many people around here understand what it takes to be a truly outstanding business, man. Kapow! This time I spread my knowledge uh, to those willing to learn. But first, a challenge. Uh, what kind of challenge? Uh, 
not revealing anything yet. Here, take a sip of this. Max hands you a weird vial of, <laughs> vial of weird looking medicine. Uh, what is it? Drink now, ask questions later. Don't worry, I wouldn't let anything. <laughs> uh, I mean, uh, uh, yeah, you just trust me. It's normal liquids. Nothing to worry about. Uh, nothing, nothing at all. Okay, drink the weird liquid. Um. Um. Uh, find the real Mad Max and escape my torment. Uh, hey, I'm not the real Mad Max. Oh my. Okay. Okay, I am tripping balls. The balls are tripping. Uh, are, are you? No, no. Uh, are you the real Matt? Are you the real Mad? Oh, oh no! Get, get back here! I found him! Get back here! I think I lost him. Eh. Oh, here we go. Whoa, you got me. It looks like you're quick, even when hallucinating. <laughs> Did I say hallucinating? I mean, taking a nap, dreaming, yeah. Will you want my little game ready to wake up? Yes, please, I'm freaked out. <laughs> uh, you're one tough kid. That liquid is one of my finest concoctions. Handcrafted with one purpose and one purpose only. To confuse Pokemon when you're ready to catch. <laughs> Uh, well, you've proven yourself. Here's my secret to success, leads in. I use coupons. Coupons, really? That's it? Yep, coupons give the customers a reason to come back and buy more. Plus, it makes them feel extra special like they won a prize or contest. Simple. That's all I can share to, uh, care to share for now. Good luck on your business. Okay, well, I guess that will help. Well, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and call it here. So, if you guys enjoyed this series so far, leave us a like. It always helps out a lot. It lets me know that you guys are still interested and that, you, you know, liking the series and whatnot. Uh, it tells me that I'm doing a good job. <laughs> also, if you're new to the channel and you'd like to see more things like this, leave us a sub and join the heroes. Anyways, guys, this has been Zeshin of Heroes of Fools, and I'll see you all next time. Take care and goodbye.